Hello and welcome to our surf tutorial video. This video is going to look at how to reconcile your bank correctly in surf. At this point, I would recommend that if you haven't already, you go back and look at our previous surf tutorial videos as reconciling your bank should be the last thing you do after already entering purchase invoices, sales invoices, payments and receipts. If you wish to reconcile your bank, click on the banking tab on the left hand side and select bank reconciliation. This is our first reconciliation, so we're going to add to the 30th of the 3rd, 2018. I'm reconciling my regular bank current account, which is called 771. You might also have a deposit account, a cash account, a cash control account. You might set up a credit card or anything like that and reconciling them is exactly the same. As I'm a new company, my opening statement balance is nil and my closing balance is 2025. Uh, just, just for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to reconcile the first three months as there's not, there's, as there's not many transactions. However, we would recommend normally However, we would normally recommend for our clients to reconcile their bank on a monthly or bi-monthly basis, but you should make sure that you have your invoices entered before you reconcile your bank. That's particularly important. So having hit save, we are brought through to the bank reconciliation page. So you can see my closing balance per surf and my closing balance per bank statement, which is good as they match and the date that I'm creating the bank reconciliation for. You can see my lodgements, which have not been presented yet, and my payments. So it's very, very straightforward to reconcile your bank. If I scroll down, normally at this stage, I would have my bank statement in front of me, and I would be checking the transactions against what I have on my bank statement. So I'd expect to see a payment out, to account at 123, a payment out to Ireland Electric, and a receipt in from Stark One. And you can see there my three balances match. So my balance per surf and my bank statement is my reconciled balance. You should only mark your bank reconciliation as complete if you have a green mark here. If one of these balance balances doesn't match, you'll have a red cross. Like so. That means that your reconciliation is not correct. Even if there's a scenario where these two figures match and this one doesn't, still should not mark your bank reconciliation as complete as your reconciliation has not been achieved. It's only when your three figures match and you have a green mark that you should click on bank reconciliation complete and save. So what can make a bank reconciliation more complicated is if you've entered receipts and payments that don't match what's on your bank statements. So during our tutorial video, how to enter payments and receipts, I mentioned that you should only enter payments and receipts that match what's on your bank statements. If I was to go into my suppliers at the moment, you can see I have a balance here of account at 123. Now I might think I've made the payments already to account at 123, and I might want to go in and view the invoices I have for account 123. And it shows me I have one invoice overdue. So from here, I can go to invoices. And I can see that I have a February invoice that has not been paid. I can only mark that as paid if I have a bank statement showing that that has been paid. If I was to mark that as paid now and it hadn't been paid from my bank, then that would create issues when I'm reconciling my bank. So please ensure that if you're entering payments and receipts, you're only entering payments and receipts that show on your bank statements. Thank you and I hope you found that helpful.